Hi, this is Paul Hart from thesaxophonist.org, and this is a playtest and review of the Buffet Senzo Alto Saxophone. You know, I don't know any greater uh, compliment that I could give Buffet than to say that the Senzo is the first modern saxophone in probably the last 20 years that I've almost pulled the trigger and switched from my beloved Mark VI to a new horn. Uh, ultimately, I decided I was going to stick with my Mark VI. My sound on my, on my Selmer is a little bit smaller, but a little bit more uh, punch to it, especially in the mid-range, where the Senzo is a little broader. Uh, and lacks a little bit of the color that I'm looking for. Now this could be a case of the plating, it could be that I'm not used to the, the, the board difference, um, or it could be the fact that I've been playing my Mark VI for so long it's like a second skin. Here's what I will tell you though. Uh, I was able to create all the different tone colors I wanted to get, uh, play in a variety of styles of music. This instrument is incredibly responsive. Uh, particularly in the low end. I will tell you right now that by far um, this Buffet Senzo produces sounds with greater ease and complexity in the low end than any modern saxophone that I've, I've ever played. And why all saxophone makers are not um, hinging their low B flat keys or splitting them like Buffet does so you could make life so much easier moving from B flat to B to C sharp, um, I don't know but I sure hope that they try to steal that idea or uh, uh, artistically borrow or pay homage. Um, I don't care just as long as I do it. Uh, they do it. Um, what can I say? Uh, it looked like a piece of fine silver, um, you know, made by a craftsperson. Uh, the plating was beautiful. Um, there were some details on it that I was really struck by. Uh, the lack of full body bracing reminded me like of an old con. Now what that'll do is uh, the lack of bracing means that the, the tube, the, the saxophone itself, is going to resonate more. And boy, did it. The, the, the ability to feel the vibration and resonance and feedback from the instrument was terrific. Um, 
This could also mean that if you're one of those people who aren't really gentle about putting their horn in their case, it could add for some added dent work. So that's something to be thinking about. Uh, I will say one thing, probably my favorite part of this instrument, and as you can tell, there were a lot of them, was how they angled the pearls on the keys. Most companies with their key will mount the pearl flat. Well, Buffet decided we can make a, a more ergonomically sound instrument if we take that pearl and we just raise it like this. And what happens is it fits the hand so remarkably well. I almost felt like the instrument had been crafted for me. Uh, I also appreciate uh, the Kyleworth style keys as, as far as the adjustable palm keys. About that, first thing that I noticed was a little... Um, engraving that said made in Germany and that's in reference to the keys that uh, are made in the Kyleworth factory which is part of the buffet group. Uh, here's what I have to say though I've never been a big fan of Kyleworth action and feel. These keys are made at Kyleworth but they're not Kyleworth keys that have been slapped onto the Senzone. These have been specifically designed for this instrument and you know like I said uh, since I play tested it I haven't really stopped thinking about the horn and I gave it back about a month and a half ago. So I'm gonna probably go down and try it out again. But if, if you wanna really try a responsive saxophone that is unique, it doesn't play like a Selmer, it doesn't play like a Yamaha, it doesn't play like some of the Taiwanese horns, this is a unique sound that is unique to Buffet. And certainly a game changer and, and something you should try.